What's up everybody, welcome back to the Cool Figures channel and I am coming back to you again today with another video and I know it is Dark Knight's Death Metal slash DC Week here on the Cool Figures channel but I could not wait to bring you guys this review after finding him in stores the other day. So without further ado, I have for you guys the brand new NECA Back to the Future Part 2 for the time being, Target exclusive Doc Brown. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. I upload new content every single day of the week, so make sure you hit that bell icon so you stay notified. Because sometimes I upload one video, sometimes it's two, and sometimes it's three. And like today, I didn't even know I was going to bring you guys this video today, so it is even a surprise to myself. So make sure you're hitting that bell icon so you stay notified of my new videos. But while you're at it, if you do enjoy this video or any of my other ones, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already, guys. It is 100% free, and I guarantee you, and I promise you in return, I will give you guys a bunch of great content. But with that being said, as always, the information on the channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. I am your host, Jesse the Bat Majoral, aka the Buff Collector. And once again, guys, I know it is DC slash Dark Knight's Death Metal Week here on the Cool Fears channel. But I went hunting yesterday and I was able to find the brand new, for the time being, Target exclusive NECA Back to the Future Part 2 Doc Brown. And if you guys have been a follower of this channel for a while now, you know that I am a huge Back to the Future fan. In fact, the Marty McFly, the first release from this line from NECA, was one of the first videos that actually helped blow my channel up. I was able to get him the first day he was released and uh, I got a bunch of views for that because I was like the second person to put up a review, uh, only second to some guy that had put up, put up a review um, I think a week or two prior and it was hot at the time it was being released. The 35th anniversary was coming around so me being that second one and putting up the review right around the time that the actual figure came out uh, helped really launch my channel so I really have appreciation for this line uh, on top of everything you know and besides that it's in my top five favorite movies I absolutely love these movies I can watch them over and over and over again and not get tired of them uh, and I in back to the future part one and two are definitely tied in my mind I cannot pick a favorite of the two um, I just have to go in order one and two um, but I absolutely love that we are finally getting figures from these movies and such detailed articulated figures and with such cool accessories and head sculpts and swappable or not arms but hands and heads um, and if you can't tell I am super excited about this figure um, in fact this figure has got me so excited um, I'm gonna be discussing something later on in this video once we get to that point in the video that I'm gonna be like it's just, it's just not a good thing as a collector. Well, it is, but it isn't. You'll, you guys will find out. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at what this guy comes with. Because of course, as always, as all these Back to the Future figures do, he comes with some pretty cool accessories. So first and foremost, let's look at his alternate hands. So he comes with a pair of open hands. As you can see, he has one right here and one holding the emergency, emergency cash. Um, briefcase which we will take a look at in a second uh, next up he has a pair of binocular holding hands and I know what you're thinking you're probably thinking like what do you mean binocular aren't they aren't binoculars wide and cylinder no these are the binoculars if you haven't seen back to the future part 2 these are the futuristic binoculars that he uses and they're very thin and stuff so he has to uh, sorry I, my forehead's a little sweaty so I got a little sweat on my thumb um, so he has to hold it very thinly so that's what these two hands are for but those two hands are actually really good the hands that are used to hold the binoculars are actually really good for holding this paper good that comes with it with him which is the newspaper article that he brings to Marty in the past to show what happens to his son and why they need to go back to the future where where they don't need roads to hit 88 miles per hour. So next up, we are gonna go ahead and take a look at the alternate head, sw head sculpts that he comes with. Now, this is what I was talking about when I said this is getting into dangerous territory as a collector. Because unfortunately, NECA did such a great job on every single one of these head sculpts that I want a figure to display with each and every single head sculpt. So now I'm gonna need to buy multiples of these figures because now I have this stupid idea in my head 
of posing them with each of their head sculpts and now I'm gonna have to buy doubles if not triples so like with this well, with like the first dock he comes with goggles that come on and off so obviously I'm gonna have to have two with two and he comes with two head sculpts so that's two docks without the goggles and then two docks with the goggles um, you know especially with the Christopher Lloyd head sculpts they are just immensely perfect and on point as you can see here with the first one he has like a shocked scared look on his face but it is just a perfect representation of Doc Brown of Christopher Lloyd uh, and his likeness right here honestly I would put this in comparison to Sideshow uh, that's how accurate and amazing this head sculpt of Christopher Lloyd is um, or oops sorry of any of these head sculpts so he also comes with a head sculpt that already has the glasses on um, I do wish they had a I had the option to flip up and down they don't and uh, there's no paint applications underneath I already checked and looked I used a flashlight and it's all skin tone color so there's no paint application in the eyes or anything um, and why would they why would there be I mean he has the glasses you know glued in uh, but like I said it'd be cool if they would go up if they would be able to flip up and down or come out or you know what I mean it just be a cool option to have but I'm content with what we got because we do get three different head sculpts with this figure um, so that's what I'm saying like I kind of want two other uh, Doc Brown so that I can you know have them all posed up you know whoops with all three head sculpts you know back to back to back I think that'd be really cool um, so we'll see maybe I'll buy you know an extra back to the future figure every month um, starting with the Doc and a Marty because most of the Marty's I only need one extra one to because he usually only comes with one extra head um, but we'll have to find out so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the other accessories that he comes with we will take a look at the final head when we take a closer look at the figure himself so pulling this forward these are the binoculars that he uses in the future so that those that's the front right there which is pointed towards the camera which we see and this is the back side which he holds to his eyes and there's the nose portion right there so that way you know which way is up which way is down and they are slightly curved inward so that they contour to his face um, so they do fit his face quite nicely when he holds them up to him so of course last but not least he comes with the oh so desirable emergency cash and you have to be very very careful with this thing because I have already actually broken it unfortunately um, and not by dropping it or anything even though I did drop it and nothing happened thankfully but I was putting it in his hand and his hand kind of went too far and it separated the plastic and so the little bracket broke off right here but just a little gorilla glue and I'll glue that back in it'll be sturdy for life uh, that's the key guys and that's a tip gorilla glue not crazy glue gorilla glue will stick anything together crazy glue it's a hit or a miss so um, but if he holds it a certain way as you saw he still holds it kind of fine uh, so it's not too big of an issue so of course it says emergency cash on either side and it does open up to reveal all the emergency cash. Whoops, only it upside down. So like I said, I did drop it, so I do know these plastic parts come out, but the money itself stays on and in. It doesn't really come out at all. And if you do happen to drop it and they do pop out, they simply just snap back in, so no worries there. Um, so yeah, um, nicely detailed to be honest. It's just really nicely detailed. Um, as you can see all the different paper money from the different years and whatnot you can even see some presidential faces on them um, like I said just very well detailed all the years on the stickers and whatnot so absolutely amazing amazing uh, accessories that comes with these back to the future figures if you haven't already um, checked them out I highly suggest you check them out and with this Doc Brown he is one of the 
best when it comes to articulation and mobility while the other figures have been really quite stiff and I've had to take a hair dryer to them to loosen them up. This guy has actually come out of the package quite loose and uh, not really needing the hair dryer. So let's, with that being said, let's go ahead and pull him forward. So first off, let's go, that way we can take a closer look at this amazing Christopher Lloyd head sculpt that he's wearing right here where he's smiling. Um, you know, it's kind of reminiscent of the scene when he pulls the, the fake mask off his face that he, or the mask that he thinks he's wearing uh, to reveal his rejuvenated skin and everything to Marty. And Marty's like, yeah, you look the same, Doc, but you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. I'm pretty sure that's what this is molded after. And, um, you know, the, obviously the goggles are molded after when he's driving in the car. Um, and then this one has to be right after he sees Marty's son walking by. Um, that's how big of a Back to the Future fan I am that I can literally pinpoint these facial expressions to scenes in the movies. Um, so if you can't tell, I am super excited and super happy to have this figure. Even though they've been peg warming at Targets and uh, Best Buys and whatnot. Uh, and I know that after Father's Day and all the hype after this dies down, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find this guy relatively easy. Uh, but for the time being, I'm super happy to just be able to have him early and be able to photograph him and take pics and you know shoot video and give you guys a, a review of him uh, early on and whatnot because like I said, it is my favorite movie. It's one of my favorite movies in my top five. Uh, it will never move from that position. <laughs> uh, so super excited to have this guy. Cannot wait to shoot him more with my other Back to the Future figures. But until I get around to doing that, guys, enjoy these pics that I took of him and we'll be right back. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I did recently start a separate account for more of my more thought out, planned out, more edited shots called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out and if you like what you see, please leave me a follow. But how much cooler guys would this figure be if he could flip up those goggles? But that's neither here nor there. This is I am super happy with this figure and what we got with it. So regardless, I am super happy and you guys should definitely pick this guy up if you are a fan of Back to the Future. With that being said, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, guys. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. And check back tomorrow where we go back to Dark Knight's Death Metal slash DC Week and we continue with Day 4 here on the Cool Figures channel. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.